could have a million followers, but they all might be haters. 90% might be haters. Yeah. We don't really know. But if someone buys your social token, they a supporter. This crypto and that blockchain, that blockchain, that blockchain. Yeah. This crypto and that blockchain, that blockchain. Boy, cash is cool, This crypto and that blockchain. Check this crypto and that blockchain. Uh. This crypto and that blockchain. What's poppin'? It's your boy Cash Cuvee here with Sess. How's it going, Chill. man? Great, man. How about you? I'm feeling good today. We know today's a special day. This is part two of the video we just did before, but uh, Bitcoin hit its all time high. But we had you on because we definitely want to get some questions answered. This is a new thing I'm doing. You know, I want to spread love, show the game to everybody who wants to get in this. Everybody who follows me, all my supporters, we're going to give you the game on how to invest in crypto. And I know you had some specific questions you wanted to ask me. So I'll give you the floor. Yeah. So um, one of the big things that I see you uh, pushing is that BitCloud. I just wanted to know, like, what is it about BitCloud that you like or how do you believe it's helping you or what do you see in the future with that? Okay, now BitCloud, I'm gonna be honest, I've been on it all damn day, right? Yeah. <laughs> man, in, in, in honor of Bitcoin, like hitting all time highs, man. Uh, if anybody see my album cover, brand new plug, I'm holding up diamonds. I got diamond hands, right? Well, BitCloud is decentralized social media. You get your own social token. So, and then I, and then I had, to, I diamond hand them. I hold them forever. I don't ever, I'm never selling my own coin. I'm never selling nobody else's coin. But basically, right. each individual creator, you get what's called a creator coin. So you go on there, there's a feed like Twitter, like it operates a lot like Twitter, but you can give people diamonds, which are basically like tips, which is something new that Twitter is implementing also, but they already have it on BitCloud. The key is it's decentralized on the blockchain. So when it's on the blockchain, it's it's on there forever. DESO, D-E-S-O, that is the token, the coin that, it, that it's on that blockchain, the DESO coin. Yeah. And then we have a social token that is on DESO. So because it's decentralized, there's not like one Mark Zuckerberg or Twitter where you can get kicked off because of whatever reason they're on a whim, like this is it's decentralized. So yeah. that's kind of the whole point. It's like freedom. But you basically, you make posts, you can embed videos, you can embed links to YouTube videos, show off your art. You can make NFTs out of your post, out of your art. People are buying mm -hmm. and selling NFTs on there. Um, I, I'm telling you, it's just like Twitter, but it's all the blockchain and cool tech, uh, uh, crypto stuff as well. And once you invest in it, so you just, you know, that's pretty much putting yourself in there and everybody's got the little stake claim in there. So that's pretty dope, right? But there's so a lot they, of different celebrities on there as well. There's some celebrities on there as well. I just seen today Rich the Kid is on there before Tyga was on there, but there's nice. some other celebrities as well. Jamath Baliapatia is on there. Um, but yeah, a lot of artists and uh, the developers are all on there. You can, you, you know, you can communicate. Everybody is pretty cool. This is what I like about it. I'm going to keep, this is, this is one of the main difference to me between social media and decentralized social media. The fact that you get a social token shows you the difference between who is a follower and who's a supporter, right? right. You could have a million followers, but they all might be haters. 90% might be haters. Yeah. We don't really know. But if someone buys your social token, they a supporter. It don't make, really make no sense for them to want to hate on you, right? They yeah, want to, that's real. They want to pump you up. Best they want the social yeah. token to go up, right? So yep. they want to shout you out. They want to show you love. They want to support you, right? They actually literally invested in you. And right? plus they'll gain from it as well, right? Exactly. As the social yeah. token goes up, they're a holder of that social token, right? So nice. I, I currently hold, today I was looking at the list, I hold 485 social tokens on it. So Damn. most most of the people I follow, I also hold some of their token, right? And you can put in whatever you want, five bucks, 10 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks, whatever you want to put in on this person's coin. So that way you can definitely like be on the journey with them, right? So that's 485 different people that you're invested in yes that's correct oh, dope dope not not everybody invests as in many people as i do but i i yeah. just kind of took it upon myself to really kind of like nurture the new folks that come on and make people feel value at first i mean it's brand yeah. new you think that's about real. it like like february or march or something it's like it's like a real new platform and as far as i know it's the only decentralized social media out there so i want to protect it i want the new people to feel welcome to feel like they're earning something um mm. one thing for example right i had a song a viral video called spag dream Went on CNBC. I released on a Friday. Yeah, I've seen that. On Monday, right? That was dope. Yeah. I got 145,000 views on YouTube, but how much did YouTube pay me? Nothing. You know Sense. what I'm saying? Basically yep. nothing, right? I dropped the music video, Do It For The Clout, which is a music video for BitClout, right? Because I went to CloutCon. It was just a virtual, like, you know, convention or whatever. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I wrote down all this stuff about the different individuals, people involved, who spoke and everything. And I made a whole song about it, right? You know, I like to have fun with this stuff. Made a music video. Man, the next morning I woke up, I'm verified. I only had a few hundred views in one day, right? You know, overnight. But like my my coin, my coin price doubled, my market cap tripled. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm already making more money than 
I made the whole entire time spec dream got 145,000 views you feel me? Like, in 12 Damn. hours. I made more money. You know what I mean? I remember seeing that where you interviewed that one guy that explained the whole DSO system. And uh, who is that? Is he part of the creative it, team? The Darren, dev team? So he's not part of specifically the dev team. He knows a lot of the devs. And I think, may, I don't know if he actually develops stuff, but he definitely works on the newer projects. There's a lot of different projects going on. And here's the oh. thing. Decentralized platforms are open sourced. So anybody can come build on them. Right. Any developer, yeah. can come you don't need to go work for Facebook to build on Facebook. Right. You can know anybody who wants to be a part of the network can be a part of the network. The other thing that's very important, and, uh, and this will be the last point I want to make about BitCloud. As a creator, you get what's called a founder reward percentage. And this is how you can actually earn money other than selling NFTs. You can make money selling NFTs and you, when people tip you with diamonds, too. But so my founder reward is set at 14 percent right now. If somebody buys one hundred dollars worth of my coin, I get fourteen dollars. So they're they're getting, you know, they're getting eighty six dollars worth of my coin. So that kind of that's a number I can change too. I can, uh, you know, some people don't want any money. They said at one hundred percent, meaning that nobody will buy your coin because they're not. It's like just a tip if somebody buys it, right? Yeah. Some people said at one percent. So they give buy one hundred dollars worth of your coin, you get a dollar, right? So you kind of set the market kind of decides most people between twenty ten and twenty percent, something like that, right? right. So when my coin price is someone bought a thousand dollars worth of my coin and I'm set at ten percent, you know, I. I keep the hundred dollars worth of DSO in my in my wallet, so that's like, so it kind of stops people from buying and selling, buying and selling too much because like, the only way they they would have to make at least ten percent profit in order for them to sell, it wouldn't make much sense that they would be losing money. Yeah, true. So where that yeah definitely sounds dope, and I mean the fact that you can have your own coin and become that almost like a like the way that uh everybody's creating their own uh, what are those called the ERC. Or the EFC well, ERC coins. 20, well, ERC yeah. twenty token is a uh, is a Ethereum network token. Okay, um, we're gonna get in. We're gonna get into some. Yeah, more we'll get into that <laughs> another day. Yeah, that's a, so many we different avenues, one. man. I'm, I'm a, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end this one right here. But we're gonna got we got another all video. Right. Y'all should tune in. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow us on all our platforms. One time, say say your platform one time on this video. It's S sessions, sidetrack sessions. I'm Cassius Kuvan on all platforms. Y'all know me, but. Uh, Tune in next week. We got, we got another episode. We're going to get in some of the tokenomics. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yo, special shout out to Bitcoin Conference 2021. You missed a good one if you wasn't there. Taking over the game, man. NFTs, all that. That's how we get it, man. Artists taking it back for ourselves.